Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to Brie, uh, Newtown. Uh, I'm going to get like Scopo and the ball and ball is keep on because now it's fall and it's about to, load shedding is about to hit. It, 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 it's already fall right now. I don't know why. It's already fall. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's already fall right now and load shedding was supposed to have gone off um, 11 minutes ago but it's still on which is scary because you know when things like this happen it usually means there's something that is cooking but it's South Africa after all so right now I'm just gonna go to Newtown but I'm gonna first start by um, withdrawing some money so that they can buy the the scopo the scopo and i'll go to i'll probably go to um that part where that road where the pipes burst to see for well, the aftermath of what happened there because i only saw it in the pictures i only saw it on twitter but i just want to see with my own eyes and also it's a nice like um walk you know like kind of like sitting i've been sitting in this room for the whole day but today but now i just wanna you know go out so yeah that's it hope you enjoy this video let's get into it it's a sunday and i don't understand why brown team is so busy because it usually isn't so there's a lot of taxis maybe it's because people are coming from church that is why there's a lot of people there's a lot of taxis usually the streets are empty and there's no one around um it shows look at what is happening in brown that's water like playing around um that's me here going to f and b to try to withdraw some money of which i didn't successfully do because the machine apparently is like not working but it doesn't show that it's not working hey, yes guys so i went to i went to f and b to withdraw some money like a fleet 100 rand and when i got there the machine was not working it it made me wait for the longest time. it said please wait and i was waiting to withdraw my money and i couldn't withdraw my money i don't know what what was happening with the machine but something was definitely off there's something that was off with the machine so i moved from fnb because they reversed my money like i, I wanted to withdraw like a clip so they reversed the money so i went to net bank and then i withdraw like um, 50 rand because all i need is like 35 rand Dang. 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 people would be dead what that looks so villa this is me on my way going to Bree to get my scope or to order my scope from the uh the people who sell the scope a day at brie and uh, as i was walking i was walking uh so as you can see in front of me is uh the place with, that i'm going to buy at the scope it's only 35 friends so here we go he was cutting the the scope the meat in pieces uh, for me uh, so that I can be able to eat it uh, so this is Brie around the taxi rank I know I'm brave or I know that it's brave of me to take out my phone and show you what happens around Brie so that day is my pop that just came and I'm marinating the meat with some salt and just to give it a little bit of flavor because i realized that it was missing dead and on the side i decided that i need some sauce you know it, it was a chili sauce it had like a lot of chili and i enjoyed the chili in it um so i had to grab one piece of the thing and eat uh there's the plate 
I've just done eating my plate and it was it was it was really good. I enjoyed the, the meal. But I know something I just finished eating. That's why here. You can kinda like tell that something happened here. Because the road is blocked from that side to this side. It's kind of like a museum now. A sightseeing. One thing I gotta say is that it's really, 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 really a mess in, in, in this street because the street is split into pieces you know yeah it's it's a tragedy the tragedy that happened here and um, apparently there were people that here today uh, who were doing the fence uh, putting the fence around everything Because it was quick to respond. <clears throat> the way it is, yeah, I wouldn't believe that no one is hurt here. Bruh, can you carve this? This is like really, really damaged. These look like the people that were here to inspect the place and fix everything. I don't know, but yeah. Mkavava is already working. <coughs> there are already people in place working on the damage. That's crazy. This would have been a cool little place to take a music video. <laughs> Sheesh. so this finally concludes my day and yeah it's been an eventful day like i think like walking out really helped um because i got to refresh my head and i could think like maybe straight i don't know but some type of uh, like a better way so but there's this thing that i wanted to ask do you think it's stingy if someone like if i were to buy a machine that cuts my head right a cut a cutting hair machine um if i were to buy it instead of going to the salon and paying like 40 bucks for a haircut which means like the the cutting machine is like 115 rand didn't cost a lot it was it's 115 rand Imagine the whole year I'm cutting my own hair with that machine. I don't have to pay anything. Instead of paying 40 bucks, after three weeks, I'd have to go and cut and get a new cut. Like in, in, in six months time, how much have I spent? Is that stingy like, or am I being careful with how I spend my cash? I just wanted to know with that. So thank you for watching my video up to this far. Peace.